Hello everyone, I will show you how much a mechanical engineer can earn as a freelancer in 2024. So again, welcome everyone to this 30 day freelancing challenge for mechanical engineers. This is day six and today we will be concluding the week one. Whatever the tasks we had completed, whatever the challenges we had taken and finished, we'll be concluding that today. So if you remember on the day one, I had explained you and introduced you about the challenge, like what are the challenge requirements and eligibility. And in day two, I asked all of you to introduce yourself into the 3 Diast community. On the day three, I had asked every one of you to find five different skills that you can add, utilize and start working as a freelance mechanical engineer. And on the day four, I had evaluated a skill and I had shown you how to select a skill that will have a good demand in the future and also have a good earning potential. And in the day five, I asked you to do very simple thing that was make a write a LinkedIn post and tag your favorite freelancer in the mechanical industry whom do you think is earning good and doing great in the industry? And today on the day six, before we'll move forward, I will give you the challenge and the challenge is very simple. But this challenge you had to complete. There is no way you can skip this challenge. And the reason is because most of the mechanical engineers like you and me have some regrets. We think that we had did some mistake after doing mechanical engineering. We are not earning good. We are not getting good opportunities in the industry. And that is why we had some regrets in ourselves. So just to remove this misconception, first task that you had to finish that just write why you did mechanical engineering. There is no need to post onto LinkedIn or somewhere. You can just post that answer to the 3 Diast community. Make sure that you had added the certain hashtags that we always use to write in every post and challenges. Now let's move on to the most interesting part of this day. And I will show you how much a mechanical engineer can earn as a freelancer. And I am definite that you will get surprised. So let's move on to my screen. Now you can see my screen and here you can see this is freelancer.com. And in the freelancer.com, I had opened one of the freelancer, mechanical engineer freelancer who is providing his services. Here you can see like SolidWorks, CAD modeling, simulation and CSP, right? And if you go to the bottom, you will be able to know that he is providing services like CAD CAM CA services and he has total of 10 years of experience and he had multiple skills that he had already mentioned over here. And now if we'll go and check out his earnings and also you can see he's from India, Gandhinagar. And now if we'll go and check out his earnings and he had also included his portfolio. So now if we'll go to the bottom and start checking his earnings. So just 22 hours ago when I am making this video, he has earned $150. And before that, if we'll check just two days ago, he has earned some $350 and finished some project that asks for last large plastic container designers needed. So maybe he had utilized his skill, mechanical engineering skill and finished this project. So if we'll keep adding and I will, what I will do, I will add all these amounts and I will go up to last 28 days, last 30 days and I will add all the amount. So when I added his last 28 days earnings, that is coming around $1875. That is $1875. So if we'll multiply that amount with the Indian rupees, that will come around 1,51,000 rupees. So even if you will deduct all the charges from this freelancer platform and the transaction charges, the amount will come around 1,30,000. So you can see a person from Gandhinagar, India is earning 1,30,000 INR per month from one single platform that is freelancer.com. So I am definite that he will not be providing his services onto this platform only. He is also providing his services on other platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. And apart from that, I also believe that he do have some direct clients as well. So you can just estimate like how much a mechanical engineer can earn as a freelancer in India, even in sitting in India in 2024. So my purpose to show you all these things just to give you some confidence. So if you are a mechanical engineer, just don't get frustrated. Just start working on your skill, start building your portfolio. Just be into this challenge, finish this challenge up to 30 days. And I can promise you, I cannot guarantee you, but I can promise you that I will guide you through the complete process, each and every aspect of process to be a freelancer. This is not a bluff challenge. This is a practical challenge where I will guide you through each tips, tricks and everything that you had to follow to be a good freelancer. And also I am concluding this week one by this day, that is day six. 
so thank you so much for being into this challenge and finishing up to this week one and from week two we'll start learning lots of things so just be updated into the challenge into our group into our community and keep learning from each other thank you so much